All right, today I want to show you how you could make my logo in three nodes in Touch Designer. Here we go. Grab a rectangle, and for me, I want the, the fill clear, and we want a greenish. Um, want a greenish square, and then I guess we'll do a black background. Put that into a transform. Just going to move this in pixels. Oh, I guess let's up the quality here. And I think I think mine's like a little bit a little bit taller than wide. And then we got a transform, and then we need a level. And I'm just gonna drop the opacity a little bit. And I'm gonna just move this, say, oops. Let's do negative 20 and negative 20. Oh, why didn't that do anything? Oh yeah, let's just plug the level into the rectangle. All right. So I think I make it a little more transparent. Maybe bring a black level up a little bit. Bring the gamma down, play with the contrast. Basically, I have a feedback loop. This little warning is like, oh, expressions are wiring that are creating this loop. Well, it's not like it's not going to work. So, there you go. You got it. You got it in three. Um, and then over a black background. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I don't know if this is actually even helpful or anything, but you know, make it like a little dynamic stream element. But yeah, now all of these controls will do cool things, right? I've made this into a simple base. So if you've never worked with bases or containers um, in this comp tab, you can make them, you can bring these in at any point in time, but you can notice it's it's how you can nest networks, but then you need to, if you want them to act like kind of plugins or whatever, you need to add the kind of uh, inputs that you, that you need for it. Um, but, and same thing for outputs, but now you, you know, you see you add those. But another thing you can do is, you know, I'm just putting some stuff here. I don't even, I'm not even looking at what I got. You can select and then collapse selected into a base. Now all of those are in there. Um, but you could also do things like collapse just the one. And you'll see now it's got it makes the inputs and outputs, which is great. So we're we're going to um, just do a quick overview of like how to make your own tools and reuse things for your own projects, or when you're following other tutorials, or whatever. Wrap it up in something you can drag and drop into a, a project, which are these tox files. Um, so for this one, I don't need an input. Um, this is just, okay, we made my logo. Um, I added a background and it's got an out. Um, you can right click either on the node itself or uh, when you're inside of it, it's got this kind of project hierarchy where you are in the network and you can pull up the parameters or customize the component from there as well. 
So you are greeted with this editor here. And before you can add anything, you need to have a page. So I'm going to call this, I don't know, I'm just gonna call it shape transform. And then you can right click parameters and you can see that that is showing up here. Now you can drag anything that you want like say the size and if you bind it as master um, you'll have controls here that affect the, the image without having to dive into the network which is super handy um, I think this border width is probably a good good to have and then you know this oh that looks like an audio reactive thing right there let's take the border offset and corner radius oh yeah this is all fun stuff to play with and then softness i mean that kills it a little too fast Okay, so there we made controls for our first node. Now we're gonna take these translate for sure. And oops, before I before I grab that, I'm gonna use this section. And I see it made a little line between, so you know you're affecting a different node I'll take the scale and I don't know if grow shrinks I don't know if we really need that you know I might want to make like a glow effect or something where the black level could be helpful so I'm just gonna grab oh, oh okay black level Brightness, gamma, contrast, and opacity. I'm going to go back to the black level and make a new section. So then, you know, anything that you want to rename, you can rename, but I'm so used to just reading these for what they are that it's fine. I think one thing that's nice to do if you know the range, especially if you're going to grab with the mouse and be moving these things like, uh, you know, it's like this border width. Am I going to ever want that to be as much as 0.5? You know, maybe not. Or maybe I'm never going to want it to go below this. You know, so I could put the range minimum to that. Um, what am I looking for? Okay, yeah, border. Border width. Default. Point. I don't remember what it was. Zero, zero, one, seven. Range max, 0.6. Sweet. Um, I did make this logo with a rectangle and video feedback, but um, with a camera and a TV. But this is in principle the same thing. So yeah, now I have, now I've customized this and we can we can change all of this from here. Now we could add some post-processing here. You know, I've made my own balloons using tools available, but I'm not sure if, uh, I know there's some stuff out there, but built, built into 
push designer is a bloom. I think it's kind of overkill. I can use this RGB delay too, maybe. I guess there is no red to to delay. Gotcha. That's probably not worth the processing. Whoops. I guess we can make the glow color the same as the border color. I mean, very small adjustments in this could be kind of cool. So yeah, I think adding this bloom is a nice touch and it gives me some animating a couple of these. It's like a snare or something, you know, that's... So yeah, let's go back to customize this one more time. And we'll make a new page, just called Bloom. And we're gonna add threshold, intensity, gamma, contrast. Let's put this bloom level at the top. I think that's, you know, my original logo, I did film it on a monitor, so there actually was some bloom happening there. It was kind of affecting the feedback in ways I would have to add more than three nodes to make, but... Okay, so now we've got four nodes plus the fifth one adding the background back in. That's cool. I'm going to reuse this. So, speaking of, uh, so once you have something you've made, like, okay, here's my logo and I've got all my controls for it, you can right click on PC and do whatever the hell on Mac. Save component as a .tox if you want to store it on your hard drive someplace that you're aware of. But even easier, you can go into My Components. Um, make You can make a folder, and I'm going to call this... What is this even for? I guess it would be... Stream OBS. Like, I don't know, what, whatever. You can categorize this into whatever makes sense. And you drag and drop. And now you got to make sure to save your project. But then you'll have uh, everything you make and everything you find. You can put it under these My Components and it'll be in all of your future projects. So just some handy little little things to know if you're just starting out. Mm. Yeah, if there's anything else you're trying to figure out, let me know. I might be trying to figure it out too.